Oh, hey, voiceover Ray here. <laughs> so I just got done doing a podcast. Sorry for my bed squeaking. Let's just get that out of the way right now, because throughout this whole entire podcast, my bed's going to be super squeaky. Um, but anyway, I just got done doing a podcast for my Patreon account where I went in and talked about some pretty personal stuff. Um, one dollar unlocks everything on my Patreon, so if you want to check that out, it will be linked down below. But for this first, I guess, podcast thing that I've been wanting to do, maybe like once a month or maybe twice a week or I don't know, maybe once a month, um, was to start off light. And I feel like a TMI tag would be a good one. You know, talk about myself a little bit. Uh, You guys will get to know me a little bit more. I'll get to know you guys a little bit more by your comments and just, you know, something different than like an art video that's like heavily edited with jokes and, you know, stuff like that. Um, let's see. (laughs) <laughs> okay, now this this one that I'm going to do, um, this one actually has some really sexual stuff on it, so I'm not going to read that, uh, just because I don't feel comfortable talking about that kind of stuff. Like, and plus, like, who, and that's the thing, like, as you get older, like, people don't want to know about sexual stuff, like, that's weird, you know? When you're a teenager, you're young, you want to know, like, who'd you make out with, and you, but now when you're old, you're like, ugh, <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so there's gonna be a lot of questions I skip on here because it's just weird for me to talk about. Besides, like, my mom, I don't think she would appreciate it. It's just like, ugh. But anyway. Okay. So number one. (laughs) Okay, and I don't mean this, this one's not gonna be sexual, but I think they mean it in a sexual way. So number one, what is your biggest turnoff in a person? And the biggest thing that turns me off from people that I don't want to be around is just like rude, inconsiderate, selfish people. Like, I hate that so much, but I mean, who does, who likes, (laughs) who likes selfish people? You know, like who goes out there is like saying like, I want to meet an asshole today. Like, you know what I mean? Like nobody does that. Um, number two, what is your biggest turn on in a person? Uh, the thing that attracts me the most to people is just like general niceness. Like as far as like partners and stuff go, like I'm not one to care about looks as long as like personality 100% triumphs over looks any day. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't know. That's just me. That's always been me. Like, of course I want to be attracted to somebody, but yeah, no looks aren't as important as like just a nice person who's like funny that's another thing like funny people i love funny people they're so great let's see number three are you like your zodiac sign suggests that you should be uh (laughs) okay i don't know if you guys believe in the whole like zodiac kind of thing Uh, mine is a leo which is very dramatic loud crazy (laughs) in charge um so yeah i guess to a degree I guess my zodiac sign is like that, but I I don't know if I believe in the whole zodiac thing. Maybe the zodiac killer. (laughs) (laughs) Number four, um, what age did you realize that Santa was not real? (laughs) He's not real? (laughs) No, I'm kidding. Kinda. Um, I guess like, okay, this is a true story. So in fifth grade, I remember the kids were making fun of my friends because they believed in Santa Claus. Like, I hung out with the nerds. I still hang out with the nerds, all right? And I went up there, and even though I did not believe in Santa Claus at the time, I lied, and I was like, what are you guys talking about? Santa Claus is real, because I just wanted to stick up for my friends who were getting made fun of, because they thought Santa Claus was real. Um, Number five, we're going to skip over, because you guys, I don't want to talk about weird sexual shit on here, because that's uncomfortable for everybody involved. Um, and besides, like, why, why would anybody care? You know, why would anybody want to know any of that stuff? Like, I don't want to know about that. (laughs) Anyway, side rants aside, number six, what age did you have your first kiss? Um, my first kiss, I was like 14. Oh God. It was like with this gross dude. His name was Michael. Um, he was like super rednecky, I guess. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Like, I like a good, like, you know, kind of redneck dude, but no, he was like gross and like, I don't know. He just was like following me down the street and like, I had a crush on him because like no boys ever gave me attention, but he did. And like, I just gave him a kiss. And when I did, like, it felt like the world spun a little bit. It was so stupid. And that was my first kiss. It was dumb. (laughs) Um, okay. (laughs) Um, what age did your, what, what age did you have your first crush? Oh, okay. My very first crush was 
Emilio Estevez <laughs> in Mighty Ducks. Like, I remember being little, little and thinking like, dang, this guy, he has it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, let's see. Number eight. What is the best compliment you have ever received? Oh, God, this is really stupid. But the best compliment I have ever received was actually an accusation. Um, <laughs> somebody asked me, like, are you wearing butt pads? And I, t I was, like, shocked that my butt looks that good. That they thought I was wearing butt pads. It was amazing. Um, I, I was so happy to tell them, like, nope, this is all natural. <laughs> that was awesome. Um, I'm going to skip number nine. What is the biggest lie you've ever told? I guess the biggest lie that I ever told when I was in my, dist like, this abusive relationship with this guy. And I guess the lie would just be, like, that I loved him. I didn't. I hated that guy. And I was always trying to get away from him. And, yeah. And that's why we had so many problems in our relationship. Because he was abusive and I was trying to get away from him. And it was a whole stupid thing. Like, I'm fine now. He was just dumb. Do you hate anybody right now? Um, yes, but I'm not going to get into that because it's very personal why I hate somebody. <laughs> um, number 12, do you have any piercings? And the answer is no, I don't have any piercings. Story time. There was this girl in high school, and this is gnarly, what I'm about to tell you. This is gnarly, okay? Like, she had a freaking piercing that she did herself and I was her friend sitting down with her in the classroom and she was like I need to clean out my piercing which is fine you know I don't care but the thing is is as soon as she pull if you're okay let me give you a warning if you're like really not into gross stuff skip ahead by like a minute anyway this girl she pulls out her piercing and when she pulls it out pus like white pus comes out from her lip like, where she pulled it out of that hole. And ever since then, I can't do piercings. Like, you know. And I'm sure they're very clean. Just that particular incident stuck with me. Um, do you miss anybody right now? Uh, yes, I miss my brother so much. Number 15, do you smoke? <laughs> Let me tell you about smoking. I've never smoked. Um, one time I tried it when I was 14 just to be cool. I don't even know why. Like, it was so stupid. And I was, like, with all the cool, experienced, like, 16, 15-year-olds who've, like, been smoking, you know, stealing their mom's cigarettes and stuff. But anyway, I got the cigarettes and I put it to my mouth and I inhaled it wrong or something. And I started choking and, like, I put my slobber all over the cigarettes and it was, like, coming out of my mouth and I was, like, choking and I embarrassed myself in front of all the cool kids. And it was really embarrassing. And then I got made fun of because I got, it was dumb. <laughs> so, so, no, no, I don't smoke. To your knowledge, have you ever been cheated on? Uh, no, I've never been cheated on that's yeah no I'm always like when I date people I'm always like what are you doing <laughs> I don't know I usually date nerds and nerdy dudes tend to not you know be players <laughs> so yeah no have you number 20 have you ever been loved by someone you didn't love back Ooh, that's savage I don't know I really don't know like I'm trying to think of somebody that loves me that I don't love back I don't know, dude. Number 25? Have you ever danced without leaving room for Jesus? <laughs> this questionnaire, guys. Have I ever danced without leaving room for Jesus? Um, I don't, I'm a really bad dancer. Uh, and I don't think I've ever, like, yeah, okay, I'm just gonna say yeah, because I did this stupid dancing back when I was, like, a freshman or something during, like, high school, and, like, all the girls, it, it was stupid, it was, like, the, the rap music at the time, you had to, like, basically hump each other, <laughs> you know what I mean, like, that rap music where you, like, rub your butts and grind, yeah, so I guess, I can't believe I'm saying that right now, but yeah, I did that back in high school, and it was really stupid. Number 26, have you ever dated someone you met online? Um, yes and no. Uh, my first boyfriend, the abusive crappy, well, not my first boyfriend, but like my real first boyfriend, um, he started talk, 
actually I started talking, I met him through prom and I just started talking through him online and then it just kind of like escalated from there. He obviously went to my high school, but yeah, it was really dumb. I wasn't, you know, the thing is, is like, I wasn't even like attracted to my first boyfriend. Like he was just like the first boy that gave me attention and I was like, oh, he's sweet. But now I'm just like, ugh, why would I date? Ugh. <laughs> oh man, he's just the worst. Number 26. Have you ever kissed a non-family member on the lips? Well, obviously I... Okay, I'm not gonna have... Okay, number 30 is ridiculous. Have you ever kissed somebody for more than two hours? What? Like, I got shit I gotta do. Like, I don't have time to mack on somebody for two hours straight. Like, what about bathroom breaks? What about, like water like what about like your phone text messages like how do you kiss somebody for literally night uh what is that 160 120 minutes like how do you do that like what is the point of that (laughs) but i don't know i'm sure there are people who literally kiss for two hours straight like that's a whole movie that's like you could watch a star wars prequel in that time um Man, these questions are kind of dirty, so I'm like, ooh, I don't want to talk about that. Have you ever played a video game involving stripping? Like, what? Like, Grand Theft Auto has strippers? Like, what is this? You know what I mean? Ugh. I'm sorry if you're under the age of 18. This is probably not the podcast for you. Um, obviously, I'm not going to admit anything crazy, but still, it's like, why? Why? Number 39. Have you ever been heartbroken? Oh, oh my God. There's this. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, I have. Okay. So there was this dude in high school that I was just obsessed over. Like he was just the hottest guy and like he never, ever, ever liked me. And I used to do like all these crazy dramatic attempts to get him to notice me and like look at me. And the one time, the one time that I had him like in my art group for art class, He ended up liking my friend. And so anyway, long story short, he never liked me. (laughs) So yeah, that sucked. Um, let's see. Uh, Let's see if you can get married to, oh God, if you can get married to any celebrity, who would it be? And obviously, obviously you guys know what celebrity I would marry in a heartbeat. That is Leo. Leo. Like, like, I don't care. Like, who who doesn't think Leo is attractive? Like, even in his old age, like, Leo is still so fine. Like, oh my god. Sorry, Zach. Leo is just weird. You know. <laughs> I love Leo. Um, let's see. What is the scariest thing you have ever experienced? The scariest thing I ever experienced was when this guy tried breaking into my house. Like, I was home alone and I hear a knock on the door. I get up and there's this guy and like he's like saying that I stole his bike which obviously I didn't and we fight for a while and eventually he tries to like come into my house and he starts like threatening me and like saying he's gonna come back and all this crazy shit like it was so scary like I don't know what he tried to do but anyway it was just weird. What do you think your sexiest feature is? Um, I think the best part about me is my personality. I know that's really dumb, but, you know, without personality, what are you? (laughs) You know, like I said, I'm the kind of person who likes personality more than, um, like, looks. What is a relationship deal breaker? Okay, a relationship deal breaker to me is just somebody who doesn't respect me. Like, someone who doesn't care about me or listen to me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Like, if I say no, that's, like, I expect you to respect that. You know, if I say I don't like that, I would, I expect you to work with me on changing that thing and vice versa. Um, just, I guess that's the biggest thing in relationships is respect. Like, it doesn't even have to be, like, anything crazy. Just respect, you know. Um, let's see, we're at 16 minutes right now for this podcast. I'll go on for a few more minutes and, um, yeah, (laughs) then I'll end it and we'll have finished our first podcast. Um, let's see. 
What is something you like to do when you're sad? Oh man, this is really embarrassing. I don't even know if this YouTuber even like, okay, so I have this friend on YouTube and when I'm sad, I've never told him this, but when I'm sad, I watch his videos because he is literally one of the funniest people I have ever had the pleasure of. He is probably the second funniest person next to my dad. Like, when I watch his videos, I, like, laugh, like, like, I laughed so loud one time at his videos, like, my mom in the next room sleeping woke up, but anyway, I don't, I don't know, he, he I don't know, I don't want to tell him that, because I feel like that'd get to his head or something, <laughs> I feel like that'd get to his head. What was the last thing that made you cry? The last thing that made me cry, to be honest with you, was the pain from this ulcer that I have, like, I'm under some stress right now, and I don't know, like, my stomach just developed an ulcer because of it and I'm like ouch <laughs> this hole in my stomach it's a literal hole in my stomach and it hurts so bad who was the first person you ever fell in love with the first person I ever fell in love with like hard was obviously my stupid ex-boyfriend the, the abusive one you know I didn't know any better but yeah I was like really into him I thought we were gonna get married and shit like that you know like stupid young people stuff and that's why, like, my current relationships ships are so chill. It's because, like, they could end tomorrow, you know? Like, appreciate what you have while you have it. Like, it doesn't need to be a big deal. It is what it is kind of thing, you know? And that's why I don't like talking about it either because it's, like, it's not a big deal. It is what it is, you know? Anyway. Um, have you ever cheated on a significant other? No. No, 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 no. I've never cheated on or been cheated on or whatever um and <laughs> this last one this last one is great have you ever used marijuana and the answer is no <laughs> no I've never smoked weed yeah no I just never I've been around people who smoke weed um but I personally have never and I just I don't know I just never got around to it um I don't like the idea of being high I don't like the I'm sure it's fine I'm not like anti-weed or anything but I just I don't think that's something I would enjoy. I don't know. I'm not judging people who do. I literally don't care. Uh, unless you're like on meth or something, you know, but, but just like weed, no, I don't mind. Anyway, uh, I guess this was the first of my podcasts and it was kind of like rapid fire questions. Um, I guess I could have like answered these differently. I don't know. We'll ha well, we'll see how this video does. It does. Anyway, guys, thank you so much again for listening <laughs> instead of watching, listening. Um, if you want to see the more in-depth, like, deep personal one that's on my Patreon, it's there. Um, and yeah, let me know what kind of stuff you guys want to hear from my podcast. I would love to uh, interview people, especially, like, my YouTube friends. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you guys can, what I can improve on, what I can do, just stuff like that. Anyway, guys, I love you so much and I will see you next video slash podcast. Bye.